Adobe Firefly has just been announced and it is going to revolutionize AI image generation forever. Looking at the current companies out there such as Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, you name it, and comparing this to Adobe Firefly, I think they have a big chance in this market. Let's take a look at the capabilities of Adobe Firefly. So the first feature we're going to take a look at is their text to image generation. So just like many other softwares, go ahead and type in a prompt, generate you images. And here we can see with their new UI layout, it is significantly more advanced than mid journey, for example, where you, all you need to do is simply click on the filter, the update that you want to add to your image without having to worry about typing in a bunch of different things and not even knowing what it's going to do. And you can see here, very simple, easy to use UI, and you can add whatever filter you want, generate it just like that. You have a brand new image generation with the added filters that you wanted. Next feature is their text effects. So this one is actually really interesting. Essentially, you can type in any letters you want and have them designed in a way to where it looks like they have some sort of graphic or any sort of theme you want it. So for example, these look like chocolate drizzled onto the letters. It looks almost like cookies. And for making graphics, text, even bread looks like, for example, this is going to be revolutionary. Take a look at this feature. Highlighting an area on the image with variations already auto-generated where you can easily create a new image. And take a look at this underwater city prompt. Wow, that is incredible. Now take a look at this. Sketches on the screen with a prompt has the ability to turn that into a fully editable image right here. So logo designs is one industry. I can already see this revolutionizing it. Now this one is shocking. Take a look at this. It is a video and they're changing the entire environment with a simple prompt and it looks completely different. The fact that it can go ahead and actually do that in a video, let alone an image, is mind blowing. And the future of generation content image and video is about to get crazy and now let's take a look at a general overview of all the features in adobe firefly so we already seen the text and image which you can see some more examples here this time we can go ahead and change the layouts quickly and easily now this feature is very crazy the ability to just paint over a part of the image type in a prompt and just change it up to whatever you want to here, you can update your old smile, even your eyes opening and all other features on the face. Ability to add depth to image as well. And look at these variations. This one's crazy. 3D objects into a beautiful image based off your prompts. Look at how crazy that is. Also, text templates. So this is going to be a competition with Canva, I believe, where you can go ahead and create graphics with ease. And also they have conversational editing you can have the ability to add multiple steps onto an image in a simple chat form like that. And then we have text to vector as well. So you can go ahead and create, look at these beautiful vector images and go ahead and add that into your software of choice. Soups like Photoshop design. And also you can combine photos as well and have it generate a beautiful AI image with all of these included. And also color condition image generation. So you can go ahead and add image and create the colors based off of the ones inside of that. And this feature, upscaling. Everyone was talking about the current AI models being poor quality. However, built in upscaling, this is going to be revolutionary. So those were some of the amazing features in Adobe Firefly. Let's take a look at the overview and see what others are creating. So at the moment, they have recoloring vectors, which is currently not out yet, but I'm sure in the future you'll see this has been released. And you can see a example right here where you can basically recolorize this. So I can already see this for logos, images, things of that nature. This is going to be game changing and make life significantly easier. Also, we can take a look at their current examples we have here. And just, just a quick note, because I've currently used Mid Journey version five, the realism in the pictures are amazing. And just taking a look at these, for example, some of these images look 
really good. They don't look like a poor low quality AI image, but they obviously do have that artistic vibe to it. So for example, this shoe right here does look quite realistic, not going to lie. And we have additional features, which this does look more, I'd say, early stages of image generation. However, these do have that artistic look. And again, here's a quick overview of a lot of features as well as additional ones that we didn't see. So in painting, this is a feature I wanna to touch on because I made another video prior with a particular product doing this exact thing. And now seeing Adobe Firefly has it already built in, there's no need to use any other software. Adobe has it already in there. So if you wanna change this little bug's wings to whatever you wanna type, you can do that. Also, generate images based on your own style. So that's going to be interesting to see. Text to vector, which we already saw a little preview of, that is going to be crazy for graphics and illustrations. And let's take a look at some more features. The extended image, the ability to just click on a little UI button automatically extends it is so much easier versus compared to, for example, mid journey, you'd have to actually type in the ratio for like 16 colon nine or four colon three. And it's quite an, I'd say not a fun experience. However, with Firefly already built in 3D to image. So if you use software like Blender or any other 3D product, this is going to be crazy if you can infuse that into it and then have it auto generate this amazing, look at this picture right here. To view, for you to replicate this in Blender, for people who've actually used 3D software, it's way harder. I'd say 10 plus times harder to do this exact same result. And at the end of the day, unless you're creating it for video games or something to where you have to see the 3D visibly, this will be the result typically when we take an image picture in 3D software. So the fact you can do it already like this, that is going to make life so much easier. Also, they have text to pattern, so that's cool as well. And then we have text to brush. So that's going to be an interesting feature that I think they definitely would love to see more on this and sketch to image. Okay, so this, for people who do digital arts, this, I've seen a lot of videos where they do the transition before and after. So the fact that they can already have a pre-sketch and then just instantly change it into something colorful and beautiful, is gonna revolutionize digital arts forever. And then also we have the text to templates which you saw a preview of that as well, which is going to be quite interesting to see. And you're probably wondering, how do I even get access to Adobe Firefly? Well, based off of their current requirements, you do need to have an Adobe ID and be 18 or older to participate, which if you have these options, you simply type in your name, your Adobe ID email address, the country, pick what is relatable to you, and then go ahead and submit that. And then they will reach out to you once you have access to it. But overall, this is Adobe Firefly. So do share thoughts on this amazing AI image generation software. And like the video, subscribe to see more of the latest AI tech news. And thank you for watching.